Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how we can delete data from database using AJAX request. So when you click on the delete, it should show a confirmation model here. After you confirm, it should send an HTTP request to the server and it should delete the data. Then it should refresh the table. So the video will be a little longer. The thing is like these days I cannot record videos because some days I am busy. Because when I come from work, if uh, I don't have any good or a, a quiet place to record the video so I cannot record and some days yes if I am if I can do I can record two or three videos in one day so let's start doing the, this series uh, of course I will f finish this series I will record more videos and I will upload them daily or more than one or some days I cannot so let's start doing first of all when you click on this one it should show as a model so if you go to the sweet alert we did that previously in the previous videos that we have added the sweet alert so here is the delete model here if you click on the this one let's say you click on the delete and if someone say yes delete it it should delete the item from database and it should show us the confirmation and if someone cancel it it should cancel so here is the code we are going to use before we do that let's see where is our delete button if i come here open the js component in the users table uh, so if I go up there so here is the delete you know it is just a simple link so if someone click on this one it should uh, show the model first of all I will change the href to button so that we can make it clickable it's still it is clickable like I can just add an event here and say the event is going to be click yeah uh, you know that in Vue.js, you just put at, which refers to an event. So I will just call it delete. Let's say we call the function delete user, and then we just pass the user ID here. You know, here is the user we have, and then you can pass the ID of the same user, then you can delete it. So I will just write it user dot ID. For now, if I save it, it should call the delete function, which we do not have it so let's create the the function all the way down there in the methods i will just write the function called delete user and then i will write down the code here so put the comma and then it will accept an id it will take the id and delete the user you know that we will send an ajax request to the server and it should uh, delete the user from the database so before deleting we should show the confirmation window here so i will come here again to suite alert and copy this code i'll explain how the code is going to work so if i in intend or indent it a little now you see this is the title that say are you sure and then it will show a little description under that then it will the warning will be the type of it either it's in the warning is just the icon which type of icon it is going to show should it have a cancel button yes true what is the color of it and all of this stuff and then the here is the the point like if the confirm it then is going to run if you confirm in the yes button then is going to run then is the, the next function that is going to run and it will just do the result here so here is how we do that one result is just the value of the cancel button if they say if they say yes then it is going to display the the deleted here so what i'm going to do is before we display this one we are going to send an ajax request let's say send request to the server so that we can process it on the server you know when you send the request to the server if i come to http controller api user api okay all the way down we have the destroy method here so here is the destroy we write the function for the user here you just pass the id then then we click it uh, and we, then we delete the user you know we import the user here so in the server side all we have to do is just writing let's say first of all we get the user the user is going to be user find or fail and then we pass this id for now we get the user and then you can just delete the user let's say we delete the user and then we redirect back or just send a uh, 
a message back to the server that the user has been successfully deleted you can just uh, let's say return and then you can pass an object uh, an array here and say message user deleted for now we are not going to delete the user so let's see how it is going to work this code is fine for the server except for the delete which we are going to write now and here is how it is going to work if let's see if this is working if i refresh the page make sure you hard reload your mm, your page so that it can take all new records from database okay if i click on the delete now it is not clickable ah that's why i said you should put this on the button if i come up here so what i'm going to do is here is the anchor okay i think yeah we are missing this uh, closing tag here so if i save it this time yes successfully compile if i refresh it this time it should work just fine for the anchor link so if i click on this one yeah it is going to show us are you sure if i click yes it say post was deleted which we didn't send the request so far it is fine i think so let's send the http request to the server so if i come down all you need to do is send the uh, http request to the server and then show the message here so we are going to write our code here if you remember we used the v form uh, in we in the beginning so what i'm going to do is i'm going to the github just want to show you that we have the v form example here i just want to show you that how you can send a delete request to the server it is basically fairly easy when you come here and the user all you need to do is saying this dot form dot delete so the delete is going to send a delete or a patch request to the server you know there are different types of uh, requests that you should send to the server if you are curious about this one let me show you how the delete is going to work so you know this is the destroy function so in destroy function you should uh, pass another type of request so if i come to the directory of our application all i have to do is opening bash here and i will write php artisan route list it will list the route and it will show you all the methods for uh, sending requests to different functions here you are and if i come here you know there is a delete method the method should be delete and it is going to send to the api user and then you pass the user id it is going to call the user that destroy which is the destroy function here so the the method should be delete that's why you write the delete function here where it is going to send the request it is going to send it to the api i think it should be api slash user and then what you can do is you can plus this one with the id which id this is the id we are going to send here so it will put the user id here and it will send the request so basically this is going to send the request what i'm going to do is i'm going to catch the error if i get any error from that so if i show you the examples here in the v form that we used in the beginning of the video they might have the example so here are the different types of requests you can send put patch and delete and get which get the url and here are some other examples too but they did not show us the delete one so basically we are going to do it ourselves so this is going to send it to the server and then you can write then here once the message was successful this is going to work exactly like this then you do do something like this so what i'm going to do is we have then here and after then we have cache cache is going to mm, run when you have any error so for then you can run any function here for now let's say if the this request was successful then show us this message here oops i will just bring it up and this is going to be for then and if you catch any error just display the error here 
so what you can do is you can just write for the cache block so for cache block again I will write a uh, ES6 function like this and then I will just say uh, sweet alert just show something like something went wrong or failed so let's see if it is going to work for us I will come here to the application I will just show you how it is going to work so I will open the developer tool in the network tab I will just listen for the request that we are sending if I click on this one for the delete you know it is going to show us if I cancel nothing is going to be sent if I click on the yes delete it is going to say delete yes record was deleted so it should show us the request that they are going to send to the server but it is not showing here so let's see how it is going to work it is going to send request to this URL and if it was successful then they are going to give us the message and it is going to display the message here if the result was okay so yeah I should not write it down here this is extra because it is going to see if the result was okay if you have the value which we are not going to do that one so let's see this time if it work refresh the page okay it sent one request to the server which is going to get the data from server this time okay we have two errors here if I just bring up okay these are not important because of the mm, slow connection maybe something like that so if I click on this are you sure okay let me show you this the request they are going to send to the server so if I say yes it is going to send the ID of it to the server and it is successful so it is going to delete the user the user it but it did not if I click on this one you know the message user was deleted this message is com coming from the server this is the message so what I'm going to do is I just need to write user delete just delete the user you have this is basically this much simple so if I save it this time it should delete user from database so far it is just going to do that but in the future we will learn how you can delete any file related to this one from the local directory for example the user have user profile you can delete the user profile from the local file something like that we are going to do that in the future videos for now let's see if it, it is going to delete the new row here so if I click on this one again okay yes it was successful if I refresh the page let's see if it deleted the user yeah it did delete the user so the last thing is like if it send the request I just want to refresh the page again you know in the pre previous video we did something like you fire a custom event if I scroll down a little it is going to create the user it is going to show the progress and it is going to send an HTTP request to the user and then if it was successful it is going to emit this one so of course we need a little more of, uh, coding here so that we can make it a we, we can just make it or optimize it a little bit or better to say that we should refactor this part of the code it is not um, the correct way like we didn't use any promises like if it was successful then show this one if it was not successful do, do something like that we will do this one in the next videos but for now all we need to do is just fire this event we give it the name okay it is not a good name after create it is after delete now what I'm going to do is just you could give it another name but I'm going to fire this function you know what this function is going to do this is going to shout for this custom event and then here if I come come or go up there was somewhere 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 yeah for the created it is going to listen for that one and if it listen and then it will send another HTTP request to the server and get new data so this is going to mm, if we delete the user it is going to say that we have done something of course this is the event name not a good event name so if I save it and then it will re-query the data this time if I refresh the page it should update the table accordingly so let's see if it is it is working this time we are going to delete this one if I click on the delete cancel not working okay oops what happened yeah it sent the request and it still it deleted the data so here is the wrong part of this 
if I come all the way oops, from here all the way up there you know we just said that if it is if you click on this one if the result and it is going to run this one so what I'm going to do is we say if the result was the value was successful then call this otherwise don't do anything so that is what we remove from here so we should add that again if I come to the documentation these are the things that you should have to know if I copy this one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write it here so you know it should be written here so yeah if result was yes then it should do all these blocks of code and then I will close the function here now it should work it says that if the value if result does value which is yes you know yes or no and then it is going to send the request if it was successful then it will show us that the user was deleted this time it should work just fine so if i refresh the page and this time let us delete the test user if i click on this one yes yeah the user was deleted let's see if we can delete the test 2 or the progress so let's say you click on this one you cancel it it didn't do anything so this is fine and this is working just fine so that was it for this video if you have any question feel free to ask below the video and again i will just say you um, a little more information like the thing is like some people say that i am a senior i am a junior developer like that these are the practices that make you senior or junior if you the thing is like some people say this is best practice you should do this one the best practice come from doing the things time and again and again until you get to the point that yeah this is the right way because we tried many ways in the past and some of them will that's why it is the best practice so there is not any wrong way or right way of doing something uh, if you think like mm, the way i do is not correct feel free to do the, the way you want to do something because this was all the experience i had so far in building multiple applications with uh, laravel and php this is the like uh, some of them are like my personal way of doing something so the thing is like maybe i have not built a very large applications i have not faced some difficult problems this is how i do it but there are some small problems that i have seen and building applications and then you redo something and redo something that is how you mm, come to know that yeah this is the right way and this is like the wrong way uh, in the future it is going to have a problem for us uh, so i hope this series is going to be informative for you I will continue recording this series and I promise to finish this video and bring more tips and tricks for the Laravel and Vue series. If you think this is something uh, informative, feel free to li uh, like or share with your friend or just put a nice comment for me so that I should know that really it is going to be informative for people. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.